antivirus software looks at your computer and determines if there's any file or whatever that matches a currently known malicious signature, which means like the code like has something similar. Um, so antivirus software doesn't look at what's happening going in and out of your computer. Like um, if you were to use a program like Wireshark, you can look at what's happening um, with your network activity, which means what's going in and out of your computer. Because when you go to the internet, what do you do? You send computer packets and they go over the wire and they go across the world, but actually they just go down the street probably to a server farm in, in your region where um, they probably have certain things stored that would also be stored somewhere else because they're kind of like a regional server. Um, so um, when we talk about uh, who would need to be involved with this network IDS, um, obviously Google would because when you go to a content dist distribution network or whatever, um, you're go you go to the Google server farm um, and they're the ones that really ha have their finger on the pulse of um, viruses because think about it, they own Virus Total, which is um, where everyone sends their sends their files if they don't know if they're malicious and they're like and, and they think that might be a new virus. So um, when I talk about this local network IDS, why would that be a good idea? Well, a normal IDS looks at all the traffic on the network. Everything's happening. It's sniffing everything. So it's looking at all your computers. Um, if you're at a school, it's looking at all the computers in your area that's connected to the same router, I think. Um, so um, it sees too much. It's, it sees so much that it's basically illegal in a lot of areas, and if you're sniffing traffic, people will get very uncomfortable with that um, because you can steal information. If it's not encrypted, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm um, doing something that's not encrypted, I'm having a conversation that's not encrypted, what does it look like to the person that's sniffing my traffic? It looks like words. You can read it. But it, that's why you encrypt things. But you can break that encryption. I mean, people spend their entire lives, people spend billions of dollars on server farms that are constantly trying to break encryption because they're trying different variations. So the people, people get paid a lot of money to write computer programs that try to break encryption. Because um, no one's breaking encryption without a computer program, but, there are, they, but the computer program is, is considering what they know about encryption. All right, so what I'm trying to say is um, when you have a local IDS, you're, you're not looking at all of the traffic in your area. You're looking at your own computer, and that's why it's legal to have one on your computer. The problem is that it takes a lot of processing power. And if you think about it, like back in the day, no one had, back in the day, computers were slow. Um, now computers are super fast, like pretty much every computer is fast. But um, if, it's, if, if we have to constantly analyze what's going in and out of our computer, that's actually going to take a lot of memory up and it's gonna take a lot of processing power. And so uh, what I've talked about is prioritizing that and, um, and, and saying, I'm not gonna look at all traffic. I'm gonna look at like the, the labels on the traffic basically. I'm gonna go, okay, if you're Netflix, I'm just gonna to have to accept <laughs> that you exist, but I'm gonna still look for signatures on my computer. Um, but if you're Netflix, there's nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> But I'm also going to decide that I'm going to sniff traffic at certain times. So, like, if I see that you're using an, something that's not in the master file table, like if it's if it's you've never used this um, program before, then I definitely want to start sniffing. I, I and and the great thing about this program also is that I am a firm believer that people can help. Like, I want to go ask this computer. I want to go ask this person. Hey, have you ever been to this website? Like, uh, like, and and if that person. Um, has never been to that website, I want them to say no. And then that will get them in contact with someone from Google or Microsoft or someone from, an, from that does IT support in another country because let's face it, um, viruses are everyone's problems. And w so when I talk about how I wanna beat viruses everywhere, um, what I'm saying is uh, I wanna kind of push the hackers into a corner where um, like we can see them and they're, they're not gonna, like I wanna make it so it's like, very difficult for them. And um, the reason that I'd be able to do that is because I'd be able to be, like these co corporations like Google could use big data 
to analyze the code, and then they also can hire people to analyze code. And uh, I don't think people understand how hard it is to beat hackers sometimes. Um, and that's why you really have to beat them on the network level, but it's almost illegal to beat them on the network level unless you do a local IDS. But um, you can at your corp, say you have a corporation and you're like, well, I, I actually monitor traffic for everyone in my bank. Um, I, I own a bank. I, I just own a, low, a regional bank. It's a very small time, but I'm very serious about our security. Of course I have an IDS. Because if you don't have an IDS and you're at a bank, like you, you're, you should probably um, get in trouble if you ever get hacked. Like you should be, get charged with like criminal negligence or something. Because um, that's like a common sense feature at, at, a, at, a, at a bank is you better have um, a network IDS. Like if, if you're like doing anything that involves like secret, people's secret financial information. So um, uh, you want to have an IDS what do you have to do? You have to alert your, alert your employees. And a lot of people will alert them every time they log on. Or, um, I mean, like you don't have, your, I mean, schools I don't think, like colleges don't alert you every time you log on. And I guarantee you they're monitoring the traffic. Because um, there's that many viruses that go around colleges because people are trying to steal research. I, I've hit a lot of, I had a, I found a lot of viruses at UTSA. Enough. All right, so um, that's what the local IDS is all about. Um, we would probably also want to partner with Linux. I mean, Linux, Microsoft, Apple, um, because uh, like Linux, if there's any group of people that would really enjoy a local IDS, it'd probably be the Linux community because like, if I'm running Linux, I'm running 32 gigs for sure. Like I'd be down to run 64 gigs. Like I'm, the, I'm that guy. Um, I'm talking about a memory. And if you have that, that kind of uh, memory on your computer, you can handle like um, running a local IDS, I think, unless you're unless you're sniffing like Netflix constantly, which would like not work out. All right, so um, yeah, I want to make it open source. I want to make it government sponsored. I want to pay everyone. Everyone gets so much money. Google gets so much money from us for uh, partnering with us. But um, more than anything, Google just gets a bunch of employees that help them do cybersecurity. And I, I think I think Google Google likes beating hackers. So um, yeah. I'm the cybersecurity president.